What's up, YouTube? It's Chaos Bizzle here, aka Chris. And why did I just start the video again? Okay, right. This is a gameplay that I got on Jungle about a week ago, and it's kind of one of my better gameplays, despite the fact that I use air support like a bitch. Because I go after these two deaths at the beginning, I go on a 55 kill streak. And I'm going to talk to you today about what I would like to see in Modern Warfare 3. Because that game's starting to bring up some heat. Everyone's getting excited. I am too, but I'm quite enjoying Black Ops at the moment. Because I used to hate Black Ops, and now I kind of like it because I do well. <laughs> like every game. And it's probably because I run in a party now instead of running on my own. So. I don't know, I'm not really anticipating Modern Warfare 3 as much as the rest of you, but I still also want to see the correct game being brought out with no bullshit in it. And uh, I got given some questions from mates of like what I'd like to see in the next COD, and one of the questions was, what perk would I bring back? Well, as you can see, that perk right there, I do not want brought back. That's last chance, second chance, final stand, anything like that needs to go. I mean, that perk actually does nothing, it's just a troll's perk. I mean, I reckon someone on 4chan came up with that perk and then sent it into Treyarch and Modern Warfare and uh, Infinity Ward and all that lot. Because it's such a troll's perk. And it doesn't actually do you any good. I mean, you'll see in this video it does someone good, but that doesn't happen too, too often. And, and they're like, Invincible Stage of Last Stand, bullshit. And, uh, yeah, hooray for noob tubes. Yeah! Should have been a triple, but yeah, carry on. Uh... As far as perks, I want to not see back as well. I don't want to see slight hand back in the form of sniping because I don't want people on my team running around going, Ooh, look at me, I can quick scope 360 nose go and ladder, ladder still do all that crazy stuff for Zergris. Go away, combat. I'm trying to do a commentary. Uh, I also don't want to see martyrdom and one man army, of course. As far as perks I want to bring back, I'm quite a fan of the hardline perk. I run that a lot now and it's really helpful. I like the way that they did Hacker, I think that's a really good addition to the perk and I'm really happy with the pro perk that they brought out in Black Ops and I think if the game's going to be successful they need to bring back Stopping Power and Juggernaut. Oh look at me with my fam ass secondary there, yeah, bit of an overpowered secondary but yeah let's do it. Yeah! So, okay that's the perks I want brought back. As far as guns go, I'd quite like to see the fam ass from Modern Warfare 2. I racked up a ridiculous amount of kills with that gun, the 3 burst one, not the Black Ops one, but I've still got quite a few with that, it's just in my Warfare 3, I would like to see the 3 burst version because that's the one I went to, that was my go to gun, always has been my go to gun, I'm really happy that they're bringing back the MP5 instead of the MP5K because that was a monster in COD 4, and as far as snipers go, I'm attached to the intervention because of the amount of times I've used it, so I'd like to bring that back but that would be awesome if they did and uh yeah survival mode they're talking about this new survival mode it's going to be like zombies kind of it's going to be like the addition to zombies of black ops and world at war and I think it's a really good idea it sounds like it's going to be a really big hit and if they do it correctly and don't make it overpowered at the beginning rounds and make it really difficult in the later rounds so it's like a progression like you know when you start on the campaign and you go on recruit if it ends up like veteran mode where you've got 3,000 enemies coming at you in veteran mode. It'll be amazing. I think it'll be a really, really good addition to the game. And uh, I have a feeling that if that is going to be the big takeoff, as big as Zombies was, I will base my channel more around that than the uh, online play because I really like the sound of that idea. It depends what the maps are like as well. If they only bring out like two maps for it, I'm not going to do it. But if they bring out like 10 maps, like Spec Ops, and uh, yeah, then I'm bound to put out a hell of a lot of videos for that. So I'm really looking forward to survival mode. That's my high hopes. I'm on Warfare 3. And uh, as far as the campaign goes, I'm really not too bothered what they bring in the campaign. I kind of want them to bring a few of the stealthy missions back, like from COD 4, those at Sniper 1 that everybody loves. That's by far the best mission ever made on a COD game, followed by the one at World at War where you have to snipe like you're on the film, oh, have any of you seen that film Enemy at the Gates? I'm pretty sure some of you have where he's just got that sniper and he goes around and he's hiding in corners like a little ghost noob and then he just bam, hits you in the press with a sniper bullet. It's like, yeah! So if they can bring some missions back like that, I'll be really, really happy. 
because I looked at the trailer and it looks all explosives and big buildings going boom and nowhere to hide and just massive noob tube areas and I mean that looks hugely hugely detailed for like the graphics and everything but I just really want some stealth missions that's the whole point and you can't just you can't just win an operation by just going on all guns blazing even though that's what the American army kind of does but yeah we'll see what they bring to the table I'm hoping that it's gonna be a good game I'm really hoping it is but because of my newfound love for black ops because I've actually found my groove play more like CNNs instead of Sandy Ravage I do my, a lot better than I used to do I usually get my average kill my kill death at the moment was 1.87 two days before that it was 1.76 and my average kill death per game now is usually over four by far yeah I go flawless quite a lot now as well I never used to go flawless but I uh, I went through a stage where I just got like five flawlesses in a row and it's like ooh, I enjoyed that but I'm not gonna upload any of them cuz I kept my ass off but this is one of these gameplays I'm more proud about cuz I actually go around running with a gun I mean I've got a stoner out right now. I've never used this. The first time I picked up the stoner, so I was really uncomfortable at this stage. But the thing is, my teammates were just getting chopper gunners while I was rushing their spawn, so it's really quite, quite an easy game. But such is Black Ops, if you ask me. Also, Modern Warfare Three wise, because I think the problem with Black Ops is when they decided to make the kill streaks not stack, they slowed the game down so much. But I also think that Modern Warfare 2 overdid it and it's extremely hectic. And at the same time you get all those things like nuke boosters and you get... Oh my god, I hated nuke boosters so much. But they were quite fun to kill. Especially if they had mics and they didn't do it properly. But you used to have constant pave lows and harriers. There used to be like four sets of harriers in the air at once. It was like, what is going on here? See me capping that, that, that flag right there? I'm just going to run right over it. Just like, nah, I'm going for gameplay. Six bullets, yeah. More than enough, you're dead man. But I really don't know what they're going to do for the kill streaks, Because if they don't stack them, it's going to be a slower gameplay. And that's not what Infinity Ward does. But if they stack them, it's going to be all hell breaks loose yet again. Especially because in the trailer they showed tanks. I am not looking forward to tanks. I fucking hate tanks in World of War. They ruined that game as well as the MP40. But fucking hell, I hate tanks with a passion. They're so bad. Why did Treyarch think that the only way to destroy a tank would be to use a bazooka or a satchel charge? You need to put more in to destroy tanks, okay? Yes, Treyarch, looking at you here because you don't really make that good of games. You kind of need firing. I mean, look at how I'm running right now. It's all bulky and horrible. Blech. I mean, you should have been fired years ago. But you did all right with this game. Cause, but that's only because I'm doing well, okay? That's only because I'm doing well. I'm only giving you some constructive criticism because I'm doing well right now. As soon as I do bad, you're going to get some bullshit and some horrible hate off me yet again. But this is the bit. This is the bit of your game that completely pissed me off. I want a 55 kill streak and then... What the fuck? What the hell is that? Did he just drop in last down with his fucking primary weapon out? I believe he did. That is bullshit, Treyarch. Fix your fucking game right now. I was on a 55 kill streak, alright? I could have kept going. I was in their spawn. I know there's only 15 points left of the game, but I was in their spawn. I could have got so many kills. Look at me. I shot him first. I should get the kill. Look, he's still good. He's still firing right there. I'm dead. And you can see. Oh, fucking annoying. Oh, he takes one shot now. Oh, look, he's already dead. You're a prick. You're a prick for running that perk. As for me, I'm going to get teabagging because I got outplayed. Get teabag, son. Anyway, back to the gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, so I just, uh, that kind of annoyed me. Because up till that point, I was doing so well. But I just tried to stay alive for the rest of this gameplay. And uh, I'm sorry that I used the air support to an unfair advantage on this map, but that's what I always do. I always put the gunship on for this map. But I always get shot down, so this is one of the few gunships I didn't get shot down in. So, I'm sorry for rambling so much, guys, and I hope you enjoy the commentary. If you did, please show me some support. Chaos Fizzle here. Sign out. Peace. Good night. Yeah. Yeah, I love you, Shaggy. <laughs>